All right, I am live for take number three. So if you guys haven't been, uh, if you guys haven't seen some of the other live videos, I've been documenting the life of a realtor or what we have to do in real estate uh, with this whole COVID virus virus days. Uh, so now I'm just heading to the property where my my photographer, videographer, and 3D Matterport guy is. He is awesome. His name is Raul. And the funny thing is, you know, we've been doing. 3D virtual tours for many, many years. And now it seems like some of the agents that didn't want to spend the money are scrambling to get the stuff or uh, figuring out who does it. So I'm going to introduce you guys to the man, uh, Raul. He is amazing. So obviously, safety first. Get the mask on. And this 3D Matterport is pretty cool. Let me get in here, flip it around. Raul, what's up, brother? How's it going? You give me some elbow bumps. <laughs> this is Raul Lozano, man. This guy is awesome. I've been using him for, what, a decade at least. Um, and he does awesome work. So I wanted to show you guys what he does as far as a 3D virtual tour. Uh, because you'll see a lot out there that it's not even a 3D virtual tour, right? It's like a picture and they just move the picture back and forth. And then they call that a 3D uh, virtual tour. Uh, so, yeah, let, let me show them your uh, upstairs. upstairs. All right, let's go upstairs. I'll follow you. Right. He's got his glove, his mask on. He's... So any realtors out there need a good photographer that also keeps the safety stuff, I'll give you Raul's contact information. Uh, he is awesome. Is this so this is the machine. And one thing I didn't know, which he schooled me on, is this thing doesn't take photos. It actually scans the room. That's the Maya cameras. So I'll explain a little bit about the... Well, what it does, it's infrared scanning. Every little camera scans up, and it, this one scans up, and this one scans down, or straight, and this one goes down. It has nine, exactly three and three and you can look up you can go down or you can go around and if you have your vr glasses you can just you got to sit down because if you know you will fall yes i actually tried that one time and i seriously got like motion sickness so you can put on and you can use the phones now right you yeah. don't even have to have the uh you can get a, a disposable 3d glasses made of cardboard so that's pretty awesome. But like he says, it's really tough to do because I've done it. Um, but I'll show you guys the, how it looks on some of the past stuff he's done. I have to scan every three feet. And this is upstairs already, second floor. So how long does it take to scan a room? Um, probably 10 minutes. 10 minutes a room? Depends on the size of the room. And then you still have to input the, the data. So it's a long process. It is, yeah. So how long does it take you to do like a, let's say a 2,000 square foot home, four bedrooms, two baths, roughly? Uh, about two hours, hour and a half. Depends if he has a lot of furniture, it takes me longer. Got it. If he is empty, but, you know, like you do the maximum, you put everything on it, you stage it, you know, it's more detailed. Right. A lot of people just do it empty. Right. It's faster for me. Got it. But it's less prettier for, right, right. You know, for people to see. It doesn't right. look like it's a beautiful home. Got it. You know, you spend your money on your marketing. Right. And that and that's another thing why I don't think a lot of these agents understand why it's not cheap. Because, you know, it doesn't take you 15 minutes. You know, if you're going to do two hours, and I'm sure that doesn't include editing, yeah. you know, there's some things that you still have to go back and tweak and, you know, put it together. Um but we have another hour behind. Right. Well, let's let me see you work it uh, so everyone can okay. see what it's I'm gonna, like. I'm going to delete it because I cannot be there in the room. I have to hide every time I do it. But I, I will do it. Well, tell me what happens if you don't hide or the stories when there is a cat that has run by uh, and what it looks like when you actually see it. Well, it would, if we stay still, it looks like a picture. But if we move, 
it will be like a ghost. <laughs> and I see a lot of people that they come by and pick. Right. And it's you know it's, it's blurry because they only think it's a slow motion. Well, we, we might have to use that. We're going to have to find like a very historic home and say it's haunted it. and then have someone walk through the 3D virtual tour and they'll come out like a ghost, right? That would be right. <laughs> yeah, you got to always be thinking. That's it. Like that one because we're here. We just delete it. Delete the scan. Oh, let me show you. Uh, we can see it. That's the house right there. You got it. Yeah. You know, but. Uh, and you can see how you can look through. This is before we do any editing. But we can go up. This way, if you're looking at a home, you can see if it does have ceiling fans. And the, the funny thing is. You know, I have to tell some of the sellers that, hey, this 3D Matterport, you can't hide stuff behind the bed because for photos, you can put all the junk over on the corner of a bed because you can't see it. But when you do the 3D Matterport, someone can walk by the side of the bed. You know, you really have to have everything looking sharp. Yes, exactly. That's awesome. And you can see some of the staging stuff that has was done from Barbara. These two work hand in hand. They are an awesome team. Um, and I definitely want to give a shot to our wool. Uh, so give us some things that are in today's photography or 3D Matterport. Like, what do you see? Do you see anything, uh, the horizon come in or? Well, right now, um, the only thing I'm getting calls is for 3D. 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 Uh, now we can, right now that it's cloudy, I can do some scans outside. Because it's infrared, if you go outside with a, a 3D, it will not see the light. It gets blind. Oh, because since you're scanning infrared, the sun's light doesn't... doesn't it doesn't detect it. It cannot see too bright. Ah. Um, for that, I will have to do only a 360. It's like a picture. It has a different sensor. So if you were to do 3D outside, since when it's overcast to see everything, what's the distance it actually shoots out to? Whatever you see. Really? So if you're able to see two blocks down, you're able to see, but how does that, you know how you're able to walk through the room? Oh, well, I have to scan every, every uh, got it, got it. to keep reading. Got it. This, this is a technology that is um, Google and NASA. Got it. It's the same technology that you'd be using. Nice. That's why it's not too cheap neither. Camera right. costs five thousand dollars. Dang, you hear those agents out there? So if you guys are cheap, look it. There's a reason why it's expensive, and I promise you, it is well worth the money spent. I mean, we've been doing it, you know, for decades, and you know his 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 work is awesome. Uh, so if if you're out there. And you need someone to do your 3D virtual tour. He does photography, videography, and this 3D Matterport. Plus the drone. Plus the drones. Um, so if you can give them, I know it depends on square footage and all that. But just to give them some kind of ballpark um, on the 3D virtual tour. Well, we have a few specials. I'm going to give you your, your, uh, your special that, everyone, that John gets. Um, you know, for a house like that, for photo and 3D, it would be like 350. Dude, that is super, super cheap. So if you guys are, this is a special that they're offering right now, uh, Raul Lozano. Uh, I'll, I'll put his link on there as well. But what's your phone number? This way an agent out there can call you and, and see what it might cost for, you know, one of their listings. 714-906-4082. And that's Raul Lozano. What's the name of your company? OBD Studio. OBD Studio. You can go and get obdstudio.com and you can see everything I do. Yeah. If it's a virtual salon, trust me, you can trust me. Yes, and that's kind of how I found them. Uh, you know, I was looking for drone video be right when it was starting to come out. Um, and they were charging, you know, a ton of money. Uh, and I happened to, was lucky enough to find Raul uh, and saw his work. And I happened to see uh, Sylvester Salone's property that he'd done. And I'm like, okay, this guy is legit. He's the real thing. And, you know, I haven't stopped using him since. 
so any of you guys that know realtors or you're a realtor, you know, definitely give them a, a, a call. I, I promise you. And one of the cool things about Raul that I really enjoy is or appreciate is I know there's times when, you know, I have a view property and you've gone out there to go shoot it at seven at night, you know, just to get the city lights or something like that. And, you know, so I, I really appreciate your time. And, and, and the, another cool thing that most people don't know about Raul is all the charity work that he has done, you know, for, for kids. It's, it's super amazing. And he's got such a big heart. So if we can support him, him and his family, I don't think there would be a better photographer to uh, give him some love. Uh, so reach out to Raul. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, let me know. But I, let me turn this around so I can get some love with Raul. This is the man, you guys. <laughs> so reach out to him when you get a chance. I just want to thank him for the time. You guys be safe out there. And look at him. He's got his gloves, his mask. So if you're concerned, you know, if you have a... For my face, too. And he's got, he's got like the real mask. I got the cheap one. He's got like the legit one. Uh, so if you have a property out there and the sellers are concerned about safety, you know, he's got all that covered as well. Uh, so you guys be safe out there. Have a blessed day and I'll see you guys soon.